Okay people, today we'll be looking at the Sunto Core and seeing the accuracy on the altimeter and the barometer um, and the compass. Uh, I got this watch from Peak Outdoors and right now I'm here at Mount Helena in Helena, Montana fixing to do a hike and my current parking altitude is at 4,386 feet and I'm going to compare that to an app which reads at 4,342 feet. Now that app is GPS based where the barometer and the altimeter on this watch is uh, based off of air pressure. So I want to go off of this watch and then we'll see what I what happens when I get to the top and compare it to say uh, Google Maps or some other internet source of the peak of Mount Helena. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, so we're here at the information center and the sign that says you are here elevation 4,380 on the watch we're looking at 4,390 so it's not too bad and let's see the summit says elevation 500 5,468 feet so we'll check back here soon Alrighty, so right now I am filming this with my wife's JVC Evrio Well, my GoPro charge is in my bag. I forgot to charge it last night, so it is currently charging off of a Mophie Power Station Pro, which when I get to a rest stop, I'll show you that. Here's a quick city view. And some nature. Okay, so take a little break on this rock right here. Pull the GoPro and show you what I got in the bag and what I'm using to uh, charge it. All right, just got a basic little cheap military bag here. Here we have the Mophie. Power Station Pro. Recharge with USB power battery, battery backup. And GoPro Hero 2 that was charging until I unplugged it. So, throw that in the bag. Grab the housing out. Alrighty. There we go. GoPro on. Looks like a big geek. But we're good to go. Alrighty. Quick altimeter check against the phone. We're at 4,803 on the GPS. 4,820 on the watch. Earlier it was pretty much dead on. They were reading about a foot off. Uh, seeing as, again, the phone is based on GPS, I want to go off of the uh, watch for now. <clears throat> so, this place known as Hell's Kitchen. Apparently, the story is that they did a lot of witchcraft back here. Or I could tell you a uh, real tale that the uh, witch of uh, Mount Helena, Marie Helena actually, is what the town's named after, Helena, was uh, sacrificed here in 1886. Right there in that little fire pile. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> Current trail I'm on is 1906 trail. 
and looking at our watch, 5,203, I'll turn around our GPS, 5,219, not too bad. There you go, the peak of Mount Helena. Altimeter, 5,489. Compared to the phone here, 5,452. Not too bad. It's a nice day up here. So right there is a runway for the airport. Now, they say your most accurate elevation and for a uh, altimeter reading is going to be at the airport or whatever the landing ship is located at. So ours here is at 3,875. Now I drove by there earlier this morning and my watch was right at 3,869. So not bad at all. So I've been noticing about a 10 foot difference. So, I can't get play on that. Not at all. Way out there, that's Lake Helena. See uh, early morning fog still rising off of it. Let's see, there's a train down there. Right there. And the cathedral will be right there. Now that cathedral can be seen from the airport and pretty much driving into town, so it's a pretty good distance. It's a huge cathedral. Now I don't know what year it was, but a pilot has flown a small crop duster between both, both of the towers. And this is where we're at, way up here. Alrighty. Now I did say I was going to do a compass test also. Now comparing it here to a little map compass, we're east, right around 90 degrees. On the watch, get it lined up with a compass. At east. 96. Well, that's fairly accurate. It'll get you somewhere for sure. One thing I didn't show you was the uh, barometer. Now, according to, uh, let's see, the weather observation site from my location, my current uh, barometric pressure, pressure is at 29.94. Now, my watch, I'm at 29.98, so that is pretty damn accurate in my opinion. And uh, that's also kind of how the Cinto Core gets its reading is from the barometric pressure of the sea level. And there you can see the reference at 5,479 feet. So pretty much it's a very accurate watch. Um, pretty impressed. Uh, be happy to test it out on longer hikes and uh, camping. <laughs>